to meet you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna introduce how to upgrade QD router to the latest firmware. This video suitable for QD Wi-Fi router, QD mesh Wi-Fi router, and QD 4G routers. So if you have any one of these QD products, please watch this video and you can get your QD router always working on the latest firmware. In fact, it is very easy. Only need three steps to get it done. First, download the firmware. Second, connect to the QD router. Third, go to the web management page of QD router and upgrade. Okay, let me show you how to make it done. First, open the web browser and go to the download page of QD Wi-Fi router. QD.com slash download. So on this page, you would find there are many products, the Wi-Fi router, 4G router, and mesh Wi-Fi router. Uh, today, I will upgrade my Wi-Fi router. Click software, software of WR2100. Uh, this is my product. And you will find the download page. So here is the release note, and you could click download. Then, the firmware will be downloaded to my download here. Download. Okay, let me check. Okay, here it is. It is a zip file. Uh, we need to unzip it first. Wait a minute. Yes, we unzip it here, exact here. Okay, after unzip it, you will find there is a, a bin file. And before unzip it, it is a zip file. Okay, and let's, the second, we would uh, connect to my QD Wi-Fi router. So we could connect via uh, Wi-Fi or connect via uh, Ethernet cable. So I'm already connected to my QD Wi-Fi router's Wi-Fi. So let's go to the uh, web management page of my QD Wi-Fi router. QD.net slash, okay. Then input the password of my Wi-Fi router. So uh, by default, uh, the password is admin, but I already changed it, so let me input my password. Okay, then we get in the web management page of my QD Wi-Fi router, and and then go to the advanced advanced settings, then go to the, uh, slide to the system, then you would find the firmware here, then click firmware and browse, choose the firmware path. So here, here it is, we are fan of this one. This one is my, my firmware I just downloaded here. So I can, I can choose, choose it, open. Then uh, it will go to the upgrading process. So click proceed. Then just wait. Please note that notice that do not power off the Wi-Fi router before upgrade is complete, because if you if you don't do that, you may the, the router would be become a break. So you could see this uh, when upgrading your Wi-Fi may be disconnect as as the router is restarting or do something like that. Okay. When upgraded, so there would be a, 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 a pop-up. 
and it let you uh, re reconnect to the router. So I, I think my I already saved the password, so it is uh, reconnects automatically. So we will refresh the page, and then let me check. Okay, wrong password. Get in, get into it. Then you could say it is the firmware version of 1.12.7. It is the latest firmware, just the same as this this software version. So we're done. In fact, there is another way to upgrade the firmware. Uh, you click the more details on the mesh status card. Yes, and here you could upgrade. This 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 products you could check the product model is WR twelve hundred twenty twenty one hundred and you could download the the firmware of this product and upgrade here and you could uh, this is my second device uh, working on my studio and it is the product model is M it is mesh Wi Fi M eighteen hundred so you could upgrade this 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 products separately. Yes, so on this on this page you could upgrade the uh, the device one by one, and on this page, on this page you could upgrade uh, if uh, upgrade the pro product uh, one time if you have the same model. Uh, for example, if you have two M eighteen hundred, so you just need to up up upload one time, and then you could upgrade these two products in a time. So that's all. That's the whole process of upgrade the firmware. Thank you. That's all.